Hello, art-loving viewers. In Timor-Leste, one of the world's youngest democratic nations, one group of young artists are honoring their craft, not only for their own careers, but also to shape the future of their country. Artur Morris, meaning living art in the Tetunan language, is Timor-Leste's first fine art school, cultural center and artists' association, based in the capital city of Dili. In the midst of the nation's emergence from decades of instability and conflict, Artur Maurice was founded in 2003 by a dedicated Swiss-Italian artist and his innovative spouse to provide a constructive tool in the nation's social and psychological recovery from a troubled past. We came here in 2002 uh, because we were very curious uh, uh, to see uh, the newest nation uh, at the time. We have been around in Southeast Asia for quite some years before. After having been traveling for, for a month uh, all over the country here, uh, what is impressed us most was all the young people in the streets and uh, not having much to do. And, uh, but we saw some graffiti and we saw some signs of uh, creativity and, and also talent uh, um, all over the country. So we said, okay, here one could uh, maybe do something and, uh, and, and support and, uh, and help these young people maybe to discover maybe their talent in, in the art. After all this suffering, um, we thought it's important for the young people to get to express themselves because it's not also really uh, the culture to talk a lot about the, the problems, but if you can paint or illustrate them, so uh, we decided to, um, to contact or find young people uh, um, and um, to interest them uh, to join a kind of an art community. Important is maybe that we live together and, uh, and then we can exchange much better on a daily basis. Yeah, and then we started to offer courses. Uh, my husband Luca here uh, was the major mentor of, um, of the school then, and uh, he would pass on uh, all his skills uh, and his understanding of what art is about and why it's important to, to, uh, to consider art as a very strong tool in a, in a society, especially like East Timor. Um, and then over the years, we um, we got interest from, from, from different volunteers, I would say maybe from 25 different countries in the meantime. So they would come here and teach their skills and give their impressions because also Luca said, you know, it's very important that they see also influences of other people. We would show art movies and uh, about, let's say, history of art a bit and, uh, and other interesting artists that uh, have been living uh, in this world before, that they can enrich their, their knowledge about the world in the, in the art and the world uh, in general. Creating art has since been a way of empowering youth at Arte Morris, not only through creative expression, but also through sharing responsibilities toward the association's development. It is still all free of charge for the some 100 art students. My art work, uh, like I just pen, I work on ties and this one too. When I make it, I feel like it's going to be too things here. One is painted and can be called uh, mixed with, with the sculpture here. And here also, pen and test, but it's about the, about the culture, all about the culture. Yeah. I just want to show my uh, traditional things and culture to overseas, yeah, to everybody. It was uh, work for two months, yeah. Okay. yeah. And this one is like three weeks I work on it, three weeks. Like my plan for the future, I really want to like become an, as an artist, yes, and uh, I want to like, I have uh, my own studio and my own gallery, so yeah, I want to be like as a Timorese artist. <laughs> the school called non-profit and free art school because um, most of the teacher uh, or the trainer are giving classes for free. Uh, to the student that, that coming and there, 
and also we provide free materials um, for the student that come and learn at the center. Mainly all the income that comes in is um, just to sustain um, the school and the artists, a little bit of income to look after themselves as well, to finance the, their, their life uh, need and also helping a little bit of the families. The principle of the schools really is just um, in the beginning is to spare the, the message of art um, around the country. Yeah, the, the principle is also to um, introduce the world of art to the young people, uh, to start seeing that there is a um, huge opportunity and, and area that could be also developed. Up to now we have all around 125 students being graduated uh, from a receive certificate. They have intensive course for one year in music, um, fine art, a photographer, yeah, in, in these three subjects. Artists give a positive uh, expression to the young people to express themselves. We offer a chance for the young student to be able to um, express their emotion through art, which is, they create something nice. In 2003, Artea Morris was awarded the United Nations Human Rights Prize for promoting freedom of expression. Apart from growing international recognition, Artea Morris had also earned the support of then East Timorese Minister of Foreign Affairs and current President, Dr. Jose Ramos Jota. Supreme Master Television had the honor of interviewing His Excellency around the time that he was honored with the Shining World Leadership Award from Supreme Master Ching Hai. During the interview, he spoke about Arte Maurice as its longtime honorary patron. Arte Maurice is one of the best NGO, a private initiative in this country to foster art. Uh, it started by uh, Mr. Luca and his wife Gabi, uh, building up from zero an uh, outstanding art school that engages hundreds of young East Timorese. They're doing fantastic work. I'm uh, a patron and whatever, whenever I can do to encourage it. I would hope, my dream would be that uh, Art Timorese turn into become a formal fine arts academy, a formal fine arts school uh, that is recognized and supported by the government. Together we developed uh, um, a concept for a peace campaign. So we painted banners, we, uh, we developed uh, slogans and, um, and uh, made posters and had even uh, uh, slogans on our cars uh, to kind of to, to requesting that the country should reunite again. So whatever need and whatever problem we, we, we would have, uh, he would come and, 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 um, and look after us and uh, see that we would have a kind of a protection also um, towards uh, what, what could come from outside uh, against the school since we hosted all these people. Mr. Ramos Horta is the Nobel Prize winner in 1996. I think uh, he's working in to help also because he sees that we are young generation that continuing his mission uh, on participating, uh, to contribute in, the, in peace of the society. We are hoping art is going to be a grow in East Timor um, and we hope that it's going to be continuously participating in the development of this country and create peace building for the country. Arte Mores is a building from uh, Indonesian Museum in the past. So they this building and then the government in Timor Leste to give this building for Arte Mores to do for the uh, school, some for space from the gallery, uh, classroom, uh, office, and library. So this is uh, the classroom from for the kids. One place from the the kids, then one place is from the advanced classes. This is uh, our 
uh, room, another room from the space from the make some installation and some uh, sculpture and some uh, from the colors or everything here. In general, it is uh, uh, here space from the make frame and installation or another kind about the art. Since its founding, Arte Maurice has grown as a cultural centre, collaborating with a theatre group and opening learning opportunities to the greater East Timorese community. Another important thing was um, to show them also um, the outside world. Over the years now, we organised uh, maybe, let's say, 10, uh, 10 exhibitions in Australia. For example, Sydney, Melbourne, Geelong, Darwin, Wollongong. Um, <clears throat> and uh, usually what we would do, we would contact, um, or let's say cultural institutions would contact us and, uh, and offer, for example, an exhibition, the possibilities for exhibitions. We had four exhibitions in Switzerland. And um, the first one was in 2006 at the UN headquarters, Palais des Nations in, in, in Geneva. Um, where we presented for the first time uh, uh, artworks from, from East Timor. And uh, since it's also one of the youngest members of, of, uh, of the UN in the meantime. Then we had another exhibition at uh, the same year um, during the same trip in, in, in Zurich and uh, in the Italian part of Switzerland. So and then that the artists also would have always the possibility to meet other artists from other countries. And all of this, they bring back to the country. By encouraging East Timorese youth to reach into their own creative abilities while extending out into the International Art Society, Artur Maurice is nurturing leaders with firm visions and accomplishments. Eventually, the 30 original students, who are now the resident seniors, may assume complete management of the organization and pass on their knowledge to the next generation. Since quite the beginning, we, um, we involved uh, the students, or now the artists, um, in daily running of the school, the management a bit of the, of, of the daily works, that they also learn uh, how to be more or less self-sustainable because for all these years we had, um, we had donors or we applied for grants. So respect your brush, respect your paint, because one day it's finished and, uh, and if we don't create a little income that we can buy again our supplies, uh, uh, we will, we will, we will uh, not be able to work anymore. Luca had a very strong focus on, on teaching them how to recycle whatever you find you can do out, out of almost every garbage you can do art. Soon we are going to work on a project also about uh, sea issues and, and, and beach issues. So what the sea can give us and, um, and what, how, what we have to do to protect it, or about what we have to be aware. With the art again, you can illustrate uh, the problem and the beauty and, uh, and, uh, and explain it to people who maybe still have difficulties to read or write because through, through images um, you can make yourself uh, very well understand. Yeah, but I think, I think it's, it's, it's very important for, 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 for them and for all of us to be, to be very sensible about the issues of this world. About, you know, not to forget, you know, that this world is the only world we have. For me, like, Artemis is, uh, like, you know, it's my life, yeah. Artemis is really important for me because from Artemis, I will develop my talent, my skill from here. And if not, if no Artemis in Timor, I will not know my talent or my future, yeah. That's why Artemis is really important for me. I believe that art is going to be a gift more or big positive impact to the society life, especially in, in um, development country and conflict countries. So I think here we start small, but the mission is that art can be participate more and more for the peace in this planet. For more information about Arte Morris in Timor-Leste, please visit www.artemorris.org. 
our appreciation and applause Ate Morris, its courageous founders Mr. and Mrs. Gansa, its supporters including His Excellency President Ramas Horta, and all involved in helping to build a more beautiful and stronger country. May the powerful vehicle of the arts uplift the spirits of their participants and bring joy and understanding to our world. Thank you, gentle viewers, for joining us on today's enlightening entertainment. Now please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television for words of wisdom after noteworthy news. May heaven shower your life with peace and blessings. For more details, please visit www.suprememastertv.com forward slash ee.